Hello, this is Tom from Market Life, and welcome back to the 100 Trade Review series. Uh, this video, I think, will cover 10 trades, and let's get into it. Our first trade today is DRD. Uh, this is our second trade in DRD, I think. And we've had several months of consolidation and uh, initiate a position on this almost breakout here on June 12th. And uh, our price is 10.55, stop is 8.88. All right, good follow through the next day and the next day. And we take our first profits on June 17th at 12.16. And we take a little bit more profit a few days later on the 22nd at 14.15. We trail a stop and get stopped out on uh, July 9th. Uh, so that is a almost a two-hour winner. Not bad. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, this trade is CLSN on June 15th. And our entry is in this breakout bar here at 345 and stop uh, just below a little consolidation here at 286. And we get our first sale the very next day at 408. And it looks like it, you know, closed quite a bit higher. And the following day, this is interesting, we get our second sale at 534, and then we form this big wick. We went up all the way to 650 and totally reversed. So closed out the trade at the end of the day there, uh, closing out the rest at 419. And then it just kind of drifted around. But uh, this is kind of an interesting bar that gave us a decision to make at the end of the day uh, to get flat the trade. So that is a 1.65 R winner. Okay, this is EXPI on June 16th. Our entry is break out of this consolidation here at uh, 12.10 and stop is down at 10.85. All right, some good movement. And then we take our first profit here on the 22nd at 13.41. Nice, uh, nice big bar there with the close near the highs. And then a few days later, I'm trailing a tight stop and get stopped out into uh, what looks like this downward momentum on this wick here at 15.14. You see we opened and then just you know traded down pretty hard and did rally by the end of the day, but uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with locking in a 1.75 R winner. Also, this is another one of those trades that you'll probably look back on and think like, wow, this thing goes up to 100. <laughs> How much money could I have made? But again, that's, that's kind of dangerous thinking and not this style of trading. Okay, let's move on. This is PTGX on June 18th. And our entry is 1780, and stop is down around 1450. And after what looks like uh, an attempt to move higher and uh, a pullback, after trailing our stop up, we take uh, a small loss on the trade of 0.2R. So not too bad, especially following several uh, 1R plus uh, winning trades. Okay. This is DOMO, D-O-M-O, -O, on June 18th. And our entry is 31.74, and stop is down at 26.80-ish. Uh, and after a few days, we get out of the trade for a very small loss, about a 0.15R loss. Uh, I think I had a reason sort of external of uh, the trade to get flat here and is another reason why you need to take better notes than uh, than I did during this period because I think there was I don't know if I just wanted to, to kind of get a, a mental reset or something else was going on and I got out of it but there's no real reason to get out of this trade yet so so take notes 
This is NLTX on June 25th. Our entry here is 1750 and stop is down around 1550. And get stopped out the very next day at 1620. So I must have tightened my stop after this close on, uh, on the first day of entry. That is a 0.65 R loss, but a quick one. This is ACTG on June 29th. Our entry is 413 up here, and stop is 371, just below the consolidation. All right, it looks like we, we tried to move higher here and uh, just totally reversed on that day and get stopped out the next day. Um, just wanna really tighten the stop up after some, uh, you know, failed move higher like that. So that's a 0.3 R loss. This trade is ZYNE, Zynerba Pharmaceuticals on June 29th. Our entry is 685 and our stop is down at 585. And this is an interesting bar uh, on the day of entry. Looks like we had a very strong move going that just got completely rejected by the end of the day. Uh, I did not see any news in the stock, uh, nor did I see any upcoming news in the stock, but um, uh, a lot of breakouts do fail, but to see one rejected just this, after a move like this just rejected so completely is a bit odd. Uh, and the only reason I bring that up is what happens on the next bar? Where is the next bar? Ah, you have to look down here. <laughs> so there was some negative news with, I guess, uh, some trial for something they were developing and the stock just completely gapped down uh, 50%, something like that, which you know makes this, this move here all the more suspicious given that I didn't see any news um, or anything to be announced, but kind of tip you off that maybe something is going on, but you can't always pay too much attention to that because, you know, look what happened here and here. Um, so yeah, this is a three and a half hour loss uh, instantly. And when this happens, you always have to ask yourself, like, what will I do if my uh, trade gaps down this much? And usually the best answer is just to get out immediately. You could try to, uh, you know, pull pull the stops. So you don't just instantly sell in the open and see what happens. I mean, there would have been an opportunity to get out a bit higher here. We did rally up a bit, but then we also did go lower. So uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with just getting out immediately and taking the loss. But uh, you should you should know what you're going to do ahead of time because when this does happen, trying to figure it out on the fly is not always the best move. Um, this was something that Adam and I were aware of that could happen with, with these kinds of stocks and you just have to be mentally prepared that it's gonna happen. Uh, just like a few videos back, we had the big gap up in, what was it, MRSN. So uh, this, uh, you just gotta take your licks and keep on trading. Okay, let's see if we can write this ship a little bit. Uh, this is Domo round two on June 30th, and our entry here is 32.61, and our stop is down around 28.90. Okay, there we go. And we take our first sale on July 2nd, 36.18. And final sale a couple days later on the 9th at 36.75, which is just over one R winner, and we are back on track. And finally, we have Neon on June 30th. Our entry is 8.39, stop is 6.40. There we go. And we take our first sale into uh, this bar here at 10.52 and trail to tight stop and get stopped out of the rest on the following day nine at 9.76. Now let me delete that so you can see. So we opened about unchanged, tried to push higher, 
then looked like we were we were reversing failing and then cl closed unchanged but got stopped out for a 0.8 r winning trade nothing wrong with that and just protecting profits okay uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time <laughs>